Hello YouTube. In today's video, we're doing yoga that can help with your sinus pressure. How to free up the breath and relax the body when you have a stuffy nose or if your sinuses are acting up. Having said that, if you have a really bad cold, the best thing you can do for it blocks, is to lie down, to rest, have yoga blocks, sleep, get plenty of cold fluids and just allow your body to do its work. On that note, let's get started. So have a bolster and a yoga block to help you. You don't need to have either. You could just use a stack of pillows or cushions. And what we're going to do I with this is support the head because sometimes when your nose is stuffy, it affects the sinus cavities and you get a headache as well. So we're going to try and support the head using these props. We're going to start out with the knees apart. Make two steps And stretch forward. Stretch forward. And we were just going to take a few deep breaths there. It's really relaxing to be there. You can also have a pillow under your head if that feels good. Stay for 5 to 10 breaths. And we're going to go into downward facing dog breaths. Adhumukha Shwanathan. You can either use a yoga block or you can use the bolster. Use a stack of pillows to support your head in the pose. If you feel that your knees need to be slightly bent, you can do that. Pose. To move into the pose, you want to make sure that your hands are flat, pedal with the feet, keeping the head relaxed there. Or you can straighten out the legs. If your feet don't touch the floor, you can have something else. You want a blanket, block, anything to help support your heels there. And your legs will be hip width apart. Like. Hold the pose for about 10 to 20 breaths and then release by moving into child's pose. You can either have the hands stretched forward or resting next to your feet. Take a few nice deep breaths to relax. And stand up. We have the yoga block in. Yoga block may not be of any use. I'm going to show you how you can support your head in Uttanasana forward fold. No, that's not so as well. Keep the knees slightly soft. Keep them bent. Keep the back and hamstrings relaxed. And just allow yourself to fold down so the crown of your head is facing towards the floor. If you can go deep enough into this forward <laughs> head, you'll be able to rest your head on the block and hands on the floor. If not, stay higher up. It's all right. You can keep the knees soft. Hold on to either elbow, take a deep breath as you exhale, relax, fold into the pose. Stay here again for 5 to 10 breaths and slowly come oh. Relax the arms and we go down onto the floor one last time. We are going to use on top, allow yourself to rest. Chest is open okay. in this as well as the upper one. Is 
pressure point. It's like pinching, so you take the thumb and the forefinger, place it on the bridge of the nose. You spread the nose. It's close to the eyes. Where the bone is. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale and gently apply pressure there. So you want to keep the pressure point on for about 10 seconds. So you count slowly to 10 in your mind, 10 to 15 seconds and release. You might feel a heaviness there. And sometimes even while practicing the inversions or uh, forward folds, you may feel a heaviness in your head and you may feel this stuff. Okay, so I'll just make a video. But uh, that's all we're up to today. If you can't do this type of yoga, you can look up yoga for people with disabilities. There's yoga eight adapt. Um, if you, I don't want to sound like I'm making fun of people, but if you're obese or um. Whatever type of body you are, it's just fine. Whatever is suited to you.